WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 15th day of November, mid-month, and we're looking at the Dow up 90, 90 points at 36,188. We've had, one, two, three, five. this is the fifth <clears throat> session from the all-time high of 36,565. Whoops. <clears throat> we went down to the 40-period moving average, bounced above the nine, kind of struggling here. So at least for the short term, we're looking at some kind of a pullback. We've done that. Uh, what happens next is going to be very important. I'll talk about that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Uh, but basically, let's just say any close below 35,850 this week will say, uh-oh, consolidation continues. Uh, any push into the 36,250 uh, no, 36, level says, you know what? There's still strength there. Let's look at the S&P. The S&P, looking at this, oh, where did that go to? What did I type it on? The S&P at this particular point is up 11. That's very interesting because within the context of that peak D with the two little doji candles at 47.18.50, and that was on November the, I think it was the 5th, we've pulled back. We've had six, uh, six sessions of consolidation. We're at 46.93, up 10, and we really need to see 47.22 or higher to say, hey, 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 don't forget, new all-time high is still coming. At this particular point, we're consolidating shorter term. The QQQ, the NDX 100, kind of a little bit higher, up 60 cents at 3.95, all-time high of 400.99, hasn't been able to get there yet. The week is young, we'll see what happens there. But most importantly, we're looking at the IWM, which was leading the way, and then all of a sudden kind of failed at 244.46, an all-time high. And that was about seven, six sessions ago. And it's kind of struggling here. This is very interesting because this weekly chart is starting to look like it could make a peak D this week. And that means that the, the small caps, the Russell 2000, are kind of stalling here. Let's go through this quickly. We've got gold. Gold has made a new recovery high, but it's pulled back. $6.1862, looking very good. The dollar, funnily enough, is still acting quite well, almost at recovery highs. It's crude oil we've been talking about now for about three weeks, saying crude oil is consolidating. And yes, it's still down. It's down $1.1879. A lot to talk about plus bonds when I get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. And tomorrow I'll be the guest speaker for the Boston Investors Group. You can go to